Then, yeah. But I was thinking about it, and on a lighter note, I know many of us, we've been saving on our water bill, especially watering our plants <laughs> and the grass. I know I have, so I didn't have to really water anything, so kind of looking at it that way. All right, silver lining. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Once again, I am actually tracking a few spotty showers across the area. The radar pretty active, light showers in nature. I'm not tracking any heavy downpours, and I do expect most of the shower activity to wrap up soon. Plenty of cloud cover, and we have the winds out of the southeast, so that is aiding to the moisture in the atmosphere. We have that tropical moisture or the moisture from the Gulf that's going to sit over the area well into the weekend. So as we get those scattered showers and storms starting to develop across the area once again tomorrow and heading into the weekend, a few of those showers and storms may produce heavy rainfall just like what we saw today. So taking a look at the rainfall totals so far for the month of July, a little over nine inches of rain. The normal is a little over three inches, so that's incredible. We're already above average and we're only halfway through the month. Now taking a look at the year, Starting January 1st, 60.17 inches of rainfall so far, only halfway through the year. And we're, we are well above the, uh, the average here. We're 24 and a half and we have so much more to go. It's just incredible how much rain we've been receiving for the past year or so. Now taking a look at the current to current temperatures, we are in the lower 80s, upper 70s. It's muggy out there and the weather set up right now. We have a surface low positioned over Kansas associated with a cold front and a stationary front. That cold front is going to get very close to the area as we head into your Monday and Tuesday, and that is going to generate even more scattered showers and thunderstorms. It's going to keep our weather pretty unsettled as we head into the work week next week. So unfortunately, there is no relief in sight. We're going to keep this rainy pattern well into next week. Tomorrow rain chances are rather high. Saturday and Sunday scattered showers are possible, but the good news is is that we will see a few breaks within the showers, so it's not going to be a complete washout, but Monday and Tuesday it may get heavy in a few spots. And then as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday, rain chances remaining moderate. Now tomorrow's planner, as we take a look hour by hour tomorrow morning, there's a chance for a few pop up showers across the area. Not everybody's going to see them again. You know the deal. Just keep that umbrella nearby just in case if you run into a pop up shower or storm temperatures are going to warm into the lower 90s. Again, that's right where we need to be for this time of the season. Hot, humid, scattered showers tomorrow afternoon and will be heavy in a few spots, which may lead to some flooding. And it, models are showing this again to, tonight. A few spotty showers are possible, plenty of clouds. But tomorrow morning, notice how isolated they are. This will be before sunrise as we get closer to noon and also the afternoon when you get that daytime heat in. That's when we we'll start seeing those showers really starting to fire up across the area and it will be heavy in a few spots, which may cause some street flooding. Friday night looks fairly quiet. Can't rule out a stray shower or so. Plenty of clouds across the area and Saturday starting off with mostly cloudy conditions. A few pop up showers along the coast possible Saturday afternoon. Once again, those showers starting to pop up and fire up across the area, producing heavy rainfall. So keep that in mind. If you have any plans, at least we'll see a few breaks here and there. Taking a look at the tropics real quick. Only one area we're still watching a few hundred miles northeast of Bermuda has a low chance of development, a 10% chance rather a non tropical low. And that's the only thing that we're looking at, and that is far away from us. Tropics are fairly quiet. A few tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. Nothing concerning. The Caribbean looks quiet as well as the Gulf of Mexico. And we really have to thank the Saharan dust. Again, it's pretty light meandering over the Atlantic Basin, and that's aiding to very quiet tropics or tropic conditions. So that's great news there. Quiet tropics rather. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, 90 hot and humid. Scattered